Hello and welcome to an online battle for Total War Rome 2. I am the Iceni tribe and my opponent is Liam Rocks 2012 and he is Sparta. Firstly I do apologise my voice is breaking a little bit and that is because I actually have a bit of a cold. Um, so yeah this might be a bit rough but I hope you enjoy the ride that we are embarking on with this multiplayer battle. Um, Liam Rocks 2012 I fought in the previous online battle which was Rome versus Carthage, he was Rome, I was Carthage but this time different battlefield, we're on Pela which is the grasslands the battlefield didn't suit me in the last battle and I was a little unlucky but uh, thank you for some of the comments, I, I do appreciate it a lot from the last episode and I hope you enjoy the online battles which I'm showing you on this channel so Battle of Pela, I'm the Iceni, my opponent is Sparta <coughs> Once we go on to the, the actual battle map, we can go through some of the units I have then as well. Oh. But yeah, this uh, this cold I got at the moment is uh, it's very irritating, it's very annoying. Um, I did do my vlog yesterday with the cold and I don't think it came out quite as well as I'd like. But I want to get some more videos done and that's why I'm doing it. So I hope you understand. Why, um, why I'm doing this, even though my voice is like this. I probably should have waited a few days, but I want to get this done. Otherwise, I'll start falling behind the videos I have planned this week. And as you can see, the battlefield, massive, massive, slopey hill going down towards the uh, the river to the side, to the right-hand side of the battlefield. And I, I noticed this straight away. And this gave me a couple of ideas of how to how to fight this battle. So this uh, loading screen does take a while. I do like to keep the loading screens in, so I get give me a bit of a chance to talk about different things with the battlefield. So as you can see, I've got many chariots and some cavalry as well. Gone for a mainly cavalry-based uh, army this time. So I'm grouping all my chariots up, and straight away I'm putting them on top of the hill. And as you can see, they they will be hidden. And I'm hoping to use this to my advantage, much like I did in the first battle with the Rocks 2012. Grouping my slingers together as well. I put them in the front line. I've got lots of heroic nobles as well. Some of the best infantry for the Iceni. Group them all together as well. Let them fall behind the the slingers. Warriors ready. This is a very good battlefield. I do enjoy this battlefield. And you'll see what I mean now when this battle starts. Put the mounted warriors on the left flank, making sure I got cavalry all around. To give me a mobile army, and there we go. And as you can see, my enemy is quite spread out to begin with. And what I do is I bring my my cavalry to the left flank. Just on top of the hill. Trying to keep my line of sight uh, thing. Trying to keep hidden, I should say. And he's just sat there, like the first battle actually, he sat and let me go to him. I wasn't going to do this this time, I wanted to goad him into coming to me. Because that's the big mistake I made last time, which I mentioned in the previous video as well. So I was just checking what units he had, Spartan pikemen mainly. And if you look at the bottom right hand corner in the mini map you can see one of his units is actually coming towards me now. There they are, on top of the mountain. Some Tarantine cavalry. You still can't see my, my charioteers. So I bring my chariots forward. Keep my general with the main infantry. And there he goes, he's starting to charge me now with all these different units. And there we go, I'm attacking them now, trying to pull out with my cavalry because I was a bit slow deploying them. But I do do some damage to him. Put 
put them on melee as well. Don't want to use them as a skirmisher, I want to use them as actual melee. Straight away, one of my ca uh, chariots are wavering. So I'm attacking in this skirmish. Our men flee the field of battle. The opening phase. I realise it's not going so well for me. I've lost one unit. One of my other units is wavering, so I decide to bring up some of my other other units by here. I noticed that I can actually get him to follow me now, now that he has engaged me. And bring him down the slope. Down the side of the mountain. Men flee the field of battle. I took off the advisor because he was doing my head in. Display. So this is where I bring up the heroic nobles and unit of cavalry as well. Decide to counteract this. I've brought him down to where my main army is. He is severely outnumbered down here. And this is where I engage him. Still on some of the special abilities as well, Frenzy Charge. I dive straight in there. And as you can see, some of his other units are falling back up the mountain now. It probably would have been wise for him to have engaged me at this time with his full army. March them forward, because I was kind of caught in, in my flank at the moment. But he doesn't do that. Which gave me the advantage to try and attack him. There we go, one of his units is routed now, one of his cavalry units, Tarantine Cavalry. I now bring my veteran riders and my remaining unit of chariots forward to attack him. This does work out pretty well in the end, as you'll see in a moment. So he turns, he stops, he goes back towards me again. I decide to try and form up with these units. Warriors of Britain! Heroic no battle ready! Try to divide my units now. Take a few of them to the left, a few of them to the right, some of them to charge. Try to catch him off guard now. Trying to engage him. Here we go, he brings one of his Tarantine cavalry forward. Been frenzy on. This is what I wanted for him to engage me like this. There we go, one unit is wavering now. And they're all chasing him down now, hunting him down, trying to kill him. That's a full unit of Tarantine Cavalry as well. But they're severely outnumbered. I use this opportunity to bring some of these uh, infantry units back down the hill. Because I've noticed he started bringing some of his units forward now. My units is wavering on the on the mountain on the left flank. Doesn't matter though. We're taking his Tarantine cavalry out. And you can see he's bringing everything forward more or less now. <laughs> and you notice this is in the top corner that I have a lot of cavalry. Seems fair. It's actually difficult to use cavalry uphill like I've been doing, but I get away with it, and it does work out to be probably what wins me the battle in the end. Which you'll see in a moment. Warriors ready. Melee fighters ready. Bring my melee fighters forward as well. Forward. Oh. Well, here he goes. He marches to this little mount at the bottom of the hill. Slingers. Looks like a very warriors tempting target for my slingers. But I just tried to reposition them. I don't want to engage them too far forward in case they get caught out. 
So I keep my ground, hold my ground. I see he has Royal Spartans coming up the hill as well. And he also has some more units down the bottom of the hill, some skirmishers and his and his general. Ready for my warriors ready! Charge! So I'm sending one in head on against the Royal Spartans. It does seem suicidal and believe me it is. But they just uh, just to slow them down. Just to engage him while my other cavalry goes past them towards his skirmishers, which you will see in a second. I also realise I have to form up now. He's gone for a defensive position again. He loves those defensive positions. <laughs> Here we go. I plop my way through with my chariots. I can go straight for his peltas now, which is what I wanted. Give me superior skirmishing troops over him now by taking his own out. And while that's happening in the distance, I'm reforming my lines to face his. Deadly missiles ready. Just organizing myself now. Got my general on the right flank. Blood on! The Royal Spartans are being engaged, his Peltas are being engaged. And look at this, he's probably shooting at some of his own men there with his Peltas. But we hold our own against the Spartans for now. My men are formed up against his. Missile armed warriors. I could engage him now, but decide not to. I decided to keep checking the range and keep forming up myself. Even though it is a tempting target, he does have the hill in his favour yet again. And as you can see, the Spartans are still engaging with my, my cavalry and my heroic nobles. I now bring my chariots out to aim for the other Peltas unit. Probably not wise because it is uphill, it does slow them down slightly. And I do have another infantry unit of the Spartans chasing me down. My sling is not quite in range, so I decide to bring them forward yet again. Forward. Heroic nobles. Bringing the heroic nobles forward. Just forming them up behind the slingers. He's given me the time to form up here, so I use it to my advantage. Give myself a mobile mobile army. There we go. We're engaging the Peltas. So I'm trying to trying to get out of there now. They are wavering. Only nine of them left, but I still throw them in there anyway. And they're gone. Royal Spartans are being, being very aggressive towards me on that hill and they march up the hill to reinforce but what happens next is quite beautiful in my opinion I bring my bring my cavalry forward look at what I tried to do here now this is quite funny at least in my opinion it's quite funny I bring my cavalry forward to try to coax the enemy out from from the hill, which is something I didn't do in the first battle against him. There's something I want to try and do in this battle. So I'm bringing him forward casually. I know he's got no skirmishers, no archers, no missile troops there. So I know I can do it safely, as long as I'm careful. So I carry on bringing the line forward for my skirmishers. The Spartans are down to 66 men now as well, on that hill. Mighty chariots! My cavalry is just there, so I go towards his general, see if I can bring him out, but I decide not to. But if you look in the distance, you can see he has skirmishers creeping up towards my left flank. And this is quite beautiful what happens now in my, in my opinion, because what I decide to do, actually it doesn't quite happen yet, I won't spoil it, I'll let you see what happens. So my cavalry's on the right flank, I've just tried to coax him out, he doesn't come out. 
So what I decide to do, I click on them and I charge straight across. Straight across the battle line, I charge with my cavalry. And I let my general get a few shots on his general as well, off my chariots. I then bring them back, I realise I'm not doing much damage. But look at this, <laughs> this is quite funny. I turn my, my uh, heroic nobles across as well, just in case. Turn on Frenzy and Headhunt as well. And that battle on the hill has been perfect distraction for me so far. Most of my units uh, are pretty fresh. And again, I decide to bring my chariots down. And here we go. This is the charge. Straight on to his missile troops. And another unit is breaking. Just like that. I was allowed to march, to run across the battle line with my cavalry to take out his skirmishers. I decided to go one step further then and go for his other skirmishers as well. If I take out the skirmishers, that gives me a big advantage in this battle now. Anything for the gods. We will pierce their hearts. We hunger for blood and battle. Charioteers. I'm bringing this general out from the battle as well. Face to my right flank. I was thinking of going for a charge, but they are royal Spartans. They are fairly overpowered so I decided not to wouldn't be wise and I have lost a lot of chariots in this battle as well I've only got my general's uh, unit left for chariots I wanted to use them as best as I could but I am just firing upon him at the moment he's bringing some more men across his lines but he's not losing any men at all the chariots not doing very well with the uh, skirmishing So I bring the slingers forward again. There we go. We're still firing upon the heroes of Sparta. His general unit. They're fresh. They are taking fire though. They're a medium threat according to the cursor there. So I bring them out straight away. <laughs> Just trying to frustrate my opponent. He frustrated me in the first battle, I'm the first one to tell you that, by sitting there and letting me do do all the running around the battlefield. So in this battle I want to try and frustrate him a little bit. So here we are, we're dragging his general unit out. It won't be long before his general unit will be in range of my skirmishers. I've put automatic reload on as well by using the right click. Look how far out his general's come now. If I had some cataphract cavalry, I would definitely go charge that unit right now. Unfortunately, I see he doesn't have that unit, but if I was Parthia, that was something I would definitely do. Heavy cataphracts straight into his general. And the Royal Spartans on the top left hand side. Are to me slightly, but I do have the men advantage now, so it's not a particular concern of mine. And we're still fine upon his general, and his general's actually goes back turn, so... I was hoping to get a couple of kills, but again, not do much damage at all. Chariots ready. And now, it won't be long before the big clash of the two armies begins. We do have a slight numerical advantage now on the bottom left hand corner. The balance of power is slightly in my favour. Something which I didn't have in the last battle. Bring my spears forward now. Behind the front line I go for it now. Bring everything forward. I am actually losing on the top, uh, top of the hill. So I decide to bring the unit which is on the flank of the heroic nobles. I bring him up to engage them. Bring my chariots out straight away. Nearly got caught with them there. But we, we are getting shots away, look. And he is taking some damage. And that's what I wanted. His units come forward to take damage. His skirmishers have been neutralised in this battle. I have 
I have missile superiority now. And of course the skirmish has got pretty good range on them as well. It's something I lacked in the previous battle, but it's something I wanted to utilise in this one. And again, you can see the red lines where the skirmishers' range is. My charge are just sitting there as well. I'm just coaxed in with my general all the time. Bring my chariots around again. Trying to bring them forward yet again. I realise he's not going to come out at all, he's just going to camp on the hill. So I bring everything forward again. And look at this now, his Spartans are coming down the hill to engage my heroic nobles. But I also have cavalry behind him now which have reformed. So you can imagine what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking a two-pronged attack on his royal Spartans. And some of my missiles are actually firing upon his, his, uh, his units now. Battle! Here we go, we are doing some fire damage to him. A lot of fire damage. I'm actually firing upon him, doing damage, I, sh I meant to say. Bit of pathfinding issues there as well. Here we go, I reform now. I engage his Royal Spartans here. And my cavalry is going to hit him in the rear as well. Frenzied charge any second now. Here we go, frenzied charge into the rear. Bang. That unit doesn't stand a chance, you would think. And he's actually come forward now with everything as well. All my slingers are firing. Charioteers. Decide to bring everything back. Trying to coax him as best as I can. We are slowly doing damage to him. So I bring them all behind my main line. Look at that big blob of Spartans in the centre. And here we go, we're winning on the mountain now. All my units are fresh, pretty much. Put them all into shield wall as best I can. Give them a defensive position on the on the hill. The Spartans. I've got to climb the hill slightly to attack me. <coughs> Pardon me. But look at that big blob right in the centre. Decide to try to reform my line slightly as well. can now flank him on the left with that heroic noble Boys unit, which only lost 15 men, so I'm very pleased with that. And I go around the flank with my general. Look at that massive blob. <laughs> But they've actually blobbed through with some units, so I decide to bring my skirmishers back for fear that they may be taken out. Turn on headhunt and frenzy. And his general is reasonably undefended now. I was thinking about charging him, I decided against it in the end. I decided to go between the two units that would pursue me and charge into the Royal Spartans in the centre, the massive blob. I've got them where I want them at the moment. They're not, they're not organised now. And I got the opportunity to use my special abilities to full effect. quick reload. We are still firing into the Spartans. Their flanks are exposed. Here we go. I'm in range now so I use my raised banner and rally. One of his viewers is routed. Second one is routed now as well. I 
is total carnage at the moment. Look at my units at the bottom. Look how many of them are still in the green. Hardly taking any hits against me so far. Apart from the couple of units I used, I lost early in the battle, the chariots, but they had their purpose, like I said. I'm just engaging everything with my units now. Pursue my slingers on the right flag behind my lines. That's not a problem at all. My general has made it now, this far into the battle. I put him on top of the hill, ready for a charge. And with many of his units actually wavering now as well. This gives me a perfect opportunity to do a mass route, a chain route, on his units. And to of course win the battle. Ready. Charge. Spears. Chariots, ready. And look at the in the centre, which is being pummeled by my by my uh, skirmishers. And he says in the top right hand corner that he might lose, and I have to agree with him there. <laughs> um, yeah, I was very pleased with this battle. I was very pleased with the way I fought it. I did make the same mistakes that I did against him in the first battle. I learned from my mistakes and I think I fought a much better battle this time. So his general is starting to engage me now as well. So I decide to turn some of my units around. I'm still pummeling him with my skirmishers. They still do a lot of damage to him. Here we go. Just throwing everything towards his general now. I got a Spartan pikeman cornered on the hill as well. And there we go. Everything's gone apart from his pikeman and his general. We are doing loads of damage to his general. And there we are, close to victory, and I was very, very pleased with that. Great battle in the end, on my part. Thank you to my opponent, Liam Rocks 2012 for a great battle. There are the statistics there, and I shall leave you with that screen. I've been Dragonheart, hope you've enjoyed this battle. Until next time, goodbye.